Welcome, my friends, allies, vassals, and enemies of the state. You know who you are. In York the second here of the House of York, he's taking you back to Crusader Kings 3. And the growth of the House of York, now in charge of Sweden. We formed our nation. And where that is continuing, we've held our first court, of course. Now, the biggest threat to us at the moment is Jaland. Excuse me. Jarl Sigurda. Which is why we're working on improving um, our relationship with him. I'm not really looking to ally with him. If it happens, it happens, but that's not a big thing for me. But we do want Jaland under, under us. Uh, at least supporting us. It's plus 20 already, so the chance of invasion is probably relatively small. Now, I can vassalize Chieftain Ragnar Olaf, uh, Olafson of Middlepad. He wishes my protection. That's Middlepad. become my vassal. Whatever it is, that's what it is. Um, we have three uh, ex three powerful vassals who expect council positions. Chieftain Ivar, Chieftain Godmunder, and Chieftain Dorfen. The Impaler. Who sounds like a really cheery chap, doesn't he? We can also form the Duchy once we get to 75 gold. Which we don't currently have. Now, they could kick up a fuss if they don't get positions. He doesn't look happy. But one thing I can do, Chief Ivar, might succeed. I don't have a hook on him. I have the law disparate tribes. Cannot imprison people. So, even though I could lawfully do it, I can't actually do it. Interesting. I would suggest it's a little bit of a problem in reporting what you can do. Right. Right, let's go forward. No longer your royal architect. Why? Did he die? Mental break on welcome. Sometimes I feel like a stranger in my own castle. I can't help but notice the odd looks my courtiers give me, the unease that fills any room I walk into, and what happens in my uh, to my life. Why am I not welcome amongst my own people? I'm an outcast like Freya, yet the secret witch. Losing 24. Maybe this is just all in my head. Gain 25 stress. Not a good move. I'll get to it. We'll become a witch. Why not? And then... Look at decisions. I can't afford a grand block, that's for sure. Uh, he's an experienced fighter, okay. I could go on a pilgrimage. Could develop the capital. Uh, that would gain 80 strength, no. Work off some stress. Let's go. Let's do that. Stress coping friendly competition. In the middle of my training, when I spot Chief and Thorfinn, also exercising, I look him up and down, not only does he appear to be in good health, but also peak fitness. I would love to measure my prowess against his, but in what way? Should I take multiple facts into account if I wish to win? Raw strength or a mix that can include stamina and wits? Suggest we wrestle. Sounds like fun. Or a sparring match. Or a foot race. Or just regular exercise. 
Let's wrestle. You grew close to forming a friendship with Chief and Thorfinn. I gained 15 opinion of me. A feast would cost 63. A hunt would cost 30, but we... I'm sorry, not 30. Trappings of Majesty, I stand above my subjects as sovereign ruler. Unequaled in the realm. Dressing the part with resplendent garments and jewellery would serve as a subtle reminder to everyone that I am in charge. Uh, I'm not going to cause myself more stress. I'm already stressed. I do not need things to legitimate my rule. Indeed. Indeed. Ulf is quite happy in himself, I think. A hunt. I need more money. What other new, new signal? Uh, form that which we can't right now. Designate a guardian. Yes. What do you need? What do you like, my child? Ulfra Ulfersen. Play an heir and son. Military standing seems uh, military or intrigue seems to be your thing. Uh, let me give you to uh, Dolby. Oh, what's this? Rowdy, martial or intrigue? Okay. Let me give you to uh, Solvi to... Can I? Can I not? There we are. Can I hire a court physician? Apparently I don't have one. You'll do. And I can't imprison Chief Ivar because I have uh, the tribal thing. I can ch vassalize Chief Ragnar, but I don't think that's necessarily a good move. Is everyone on the council actually uh, vassal? A student champion, he's not a vassal. Ivar. Yeah, he's much better than Andor, that's the thing. Rikulfer is a vassal. He's not, and he's only at 12. Thorfinn the Impaler. Ah! He's much better as a spy master, actually. Goodbye, Eliana. And now he likes me. So, I can't do anything about uh, Ivar or Sven, but they're okay with me at the moment. Room to rule. Sven held Ryorki increased a marshal by one. Good. We're up to one. Lots of money needed in order to do anything here. I can't construct a new holding. The 73 for Palisade. Gathering halls or markets. At 73, I can do that, but I think I. Oh, what have we got here? Uh, decisions available. Hold grand blot. Decisions available. Raise runestone. That will cost me 50. Doesn't. I mean, it's good. It doesn't really help me with what I need right now, does it? Uh, which is to reduce stress. I can't work off stress yet. 879 is the next time. Which is next year. The end of next year. I may have to do a grand lot. Albeit not a great one.
Although 16, I might be able to get that. What's the extra here? Ah, uh, Guardian Fatora. You, my child, what are you like? Intrigue. Ah, uh, you'll live for her, I think. Loss of trait wounds, that's something at least. Loyalty or fear? As their king, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. But how much is obedience without devotion worth? And in times of crisis, a slow response on half hearted effort can lead to disaster. Win their unwavering loyalty. I'm not going to uh, use fear because, um, yes, I'm just. <clears throat> that wouldn't really fit me, would it? I have more important men to impress. No. Win their fear. No, uh, win, their, win their loyalty. Y'all, Sigurd is swayed. How is he doing now? Hang on. He really likes me. Ah, oh, my woman is pregnant. Good. Inspired person can be sponsored. One of your courses, as a guest, has, has an inspiration which can be sponsored to create an artifact. Well, that would be wonderful. Alla has the adventure inspiration. She wants to go to Northern Europe. But I don't have the money for it right now. Uh, that I do. The book inspiration, he wants to write about torture. Well, you are a vile thought, aren't you? But of course, a book about torture could be used to condemn it. <clears throat> no, I can't afford it. Because I need to recover my stress. Can't do anything about that. Really, raising a runestone won't help me, and I don't think I can reasonably afford a grand plot. I want. New lifestyle perk. Increased vassal opinion and independent. Or learn a language. Part of the family. Close family opinion increased. Confidence. Uh, let's increase family opinion, I think. No, your old court is now at grandeur level 2. The child was not meant to be. My concubine, Thorita, uh, assures me that it is the way of life, but her hand links on her belly. Very unfortunate. Uh, oh, the hunt is the one I will use. Um, three more gold. Not swayed. That's all right. Keep working. One more. Or continues her artistic. Okay, that's fine. Call a hunt. You go on a hunt in one of the baronies of the realm. You list six distress because you are diligent, athletic, and brave. Nice. Also get an in increase to uh, your prestige. Sound the horn. I have been corresponding with Chancellor Chieftain Solby, and it has been a shameful uh, dis diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. Must be some. No longer overwhelmed by stress. Good. Hunt far from people. Away from the others, I came across a cottage housing one of the most beautiful people I have ever laid my eyes on. They invited me to stay and rest, and I was surprised by how much I had in common with the simple peasant. You have to return to the hunt already, my lord. I've never met anyone such a shoe.
Why, if I remained here any longer, I would have to stay the night. Sunrise in seclusion. As I get ready to leave, the memories of her beautiful face twist in passion lingering in my mind. She strokes the fur we laid on as, we, as she watches me. It does not have to be the only night we spend together. I'm rather afraid it does for now. I can't afford your. Uh, I can't afford to support you at court. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses and leave the plains behind as the light fades from the sky. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. Now, that's one reduction. What's this? Challenge uh, criminals to trial by combat. That's a possibility. And brings in money if it succeeds. Declare war. Designate a garden for Omer. Omer, my son, how are you looking? Exposed. Uh, Chieftain has accused my vassal, Sven, of having had an extramarital affair with his lover, Eva. Eva. Ilva. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? Not but lies. Or to imprison him. Uh, who is he anyway? My vassal and champion. Is he one of the troublemakers? Yes, he is. Right. This crime cannot go unpunished. You shouldn't be committing adultery. <coughs> and that merely leaves Il uh, Eva. Chieftain uh, Satajalka Sajaj of uh, uh, Pietasari has uh, brought forward undeniable evidence that Ulfilda was fathered by my vassal Chieftain Sven. And did Ulfilda know about her true heritage, or is it this as it is that this is as much news to her as it is to me? Which revolution be a blessing or a curse? Who would have known? Now you, my child. I think stewardship would be your best. Uh, however, we don't really have anyone that good at stewardship. Oh, hang on. Yes, we do. Well, that's taken care of. T uh, tidying borders. For a while now, I have been thinking uh, over the discrepancies between the historical and current borders of Yalfrain's realm and mine. He ruled over the Chieftain of Skara, land that should rightfully belong to Sweden, while I currently control the Chieftain of Nordmark, of which Jarlfrain cla has claimed, no uh, claim dominion. I get Skara, I get 300 diplomacy lifestyle points. Uh, I lose Thorfrain to uh, him. Yes. Thanks to my keen diplomatic senses, I was able to convince Jarl Frein to increase Skara in exchange for Nordmark. Hopefully this act will prevent unnecessary bloodshed. Nice. What the Gotland really needs to join us, doesn't it? And Smaland as well. Marland is allied with uh, Visby, which oh look at all those uh, look at all those troops. What's this? Empty council position. My spy master. Oh, 
Gold is doing what at the moment? Uh, you're better at that than you are as a Chancellor. I'm, mm, he's only two better, uh, and Eva is a vassal. You'll do. Meanwhile, I'm going to suggest that you help him with that. Make it ten instead of nine. Eight eighty one AD is when I connect Cold Court. A year from now. What's this? Greetings, my implacable liege. Always dear to me, would you let her go in return for this offer? Yeah, of course. And gold. I could vassalize Chief Ragnar. What is he like? He's good on military, but not much else, so I'm not too worried about him. I can run some chieftain spin. Another 50 gold. Right, what do we have here? Hold a grand blot. Raise runestone. I think a grand block would be in order at this point. In death, rebirth. All free men of my domain shall come. Can unlock a new perk. Let's go thicker than water. And hopefully the blot will take us down even further. A grand blot. A blot can be both a grand and a small affair. By tradition, they also include both human and animal sacrifice. And several prisoners will be offered to the gods, perhaps even including a special choice of my own. And their lives given in tribute to the gods. Though the beliefs of Astro demand this, it's not actually a strict requirement. Okay, a decent array of animal sacrifice which will, will be... Beast or fowl for every man, that's more expensive than I can afford. Human blood. Opinion and popular opinion with us true will be on par with magnificent animal sacrifices. Subjects that do not endorse human sacrifice will lose ample opinion and popular opinion. 100 uh, divinity, or whatever. So you may designate a chief sacrifice from among your prisoners. I don't know if I've got any at the moment. Only the finest sacrifices, I can't afford that. Human blood it is. I can declare a lot of wars. Guardian for Svalde, Svalhilda. Uh, what do you like, my daughter? Very military, aren't you? Not really, uh, as yet, women uh, being military. You know, it's not, not a thing here, but... I'll raise you. Grand Blot. This temple is filled past bursting with happy cheering as the truants. All roaring as a gargoyle of terrified prisoners are marched toward the altar. Animals trailing behind them. The first sacrifice thrashes ferociously as Gother uh, throttles his life away. The light in his eyes lasting till the first animal is slaughtered. Human corpses to the hanging tree, animals to the cooking fires. All gory collecting a bowl and Gother use it to paint the walls of the temple inside and out. Truly a spectacle worthy of the gods. Time to rub shoulders with the common muck, indeed. The people are where the power is, in the end. I can vassalize Chief Ragnar, but I don't need to. Who, who's expecting me? A position. 
Unexpected reunions. My lord, my heart would not uh, would not know rest until I found you again. Die, Giritur. Oh, you remember me, my sunshine. I can't believe my eyes. This beautiful woman I stumbled on outside my stronghold many moons ago. Showing up at court. Oh. That's going to increase that. I can afford to right now. Stay here with us. Why not? And meanwhile, let's switch who I'm swaying to him. Before he starts forming uh, people against me. Grand Hall's constructed in Skara. Okay. Who can I challenge? Chieftain Haralder. Gold. How am I looking? I've got 22. I should be good. Trial by combat. Alright, so whatever else it may be is fit to fight. Let's go. I'll show you how I have the knacks. Strike the parry repost. Form is good. My opponent is still holding off. The best you've got? Form is excellent with little chance of mistake. Strike, parry, repost, single combat victory. My axe arm moves fast as lightning and strikes as hard as sundered stone. Blow by blow, I beat my opponent into a bloody concourse submission, hammering him into the ground with all the fury a uh, Turkan lent me. When all that's left is a quivering pile of a bleeding man, I wonder if I've gone too far. Then Haralda coughs hard enough to lose his grip on the axe. And I allow myself a little sigh of relief. With the worry over, I kick my foe's weapon away and lay against lay my own against his throat. It takes a few tries, but Haralda gets to yield eventually. <laughs> Trial by combat victory! Resting back uh, in... Sigtuna. I exult in my success, my axe laid across my lap. The satisfying aches and pains rippling across my body remind me of small moments in the bout. <laughs> Little victories and fierce fought defeats, each winding across to you from Heralda's loss. A sack of silver rests against my, my ship. Uh, the satisfying weight, a testament to justice well served. I had each coin counted, one by one, in front of everyone before we rode home. Yesterday we put our quarrel before the gods, and the gods answered wisely, justice is served. Okay, so. Mental break, no time for myself. Ruling has been such exhausting work as of late. It is like no subject since of Sweden can wipe their ass without my express instruction. I was in the middle of planning a small getaway to a distant tourney, with a reputation for particular fierceness, when a servant comes rushing up to me, babbling about some new trivial catastrophe. Maybe I'll take a walk to get away from things. Right, now. I'm not yet hold court. One on hand. Ah! A feline hunter! I think I found the reason why some days are more rat free than others, my marshal. The old Ricklefer happily declares as he moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat. It wriggles in an attempt to free itself. Sit it free, man! I'd say this is one successful rat hunter. In fact, it was in the middle of a wrestling match with a fat one when we found it. What's it? Should we adopt it? 
I'd love a feline companion. Hang on, that just went to hold court. Right. Let's see what they are. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for the guards to open the doors to the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn towards mine, expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row. Approach. A mark of the disgruntled chief Ivar, or is the throne leash? I have a right to the chief, uh, to the chief of Gesti Calandia. No matter what anyone else may say. Will you relinquish what does not belong to you in support of my claim? Duel him. I lose twenty-four because I'm brave. If he wins, he gets the chief and gets the Calandia. Otherwise, the title stays with me. Uh, you have no claim. Hmm. This will help my friend. Right. What you have? So I can hurry. And single combat victory. Gain ten opinion. A shadow in the night. The man who approached my throne is clearly a commoner. My lord, he begins his speech. I represent the local community of Sixtuna. In the last few months, our cemeteries have been plagued with the disappearance of bodies. All had been dug up and left no trace. At first, we feared wild animals or obscure powers at work, but then your own court physician, I slug was caught red-handed hauling the dead away. What the hell are you doing, girl? Um... Putting the human body is a sad necessity. Oh, guards, arrest the grave robber. It will cost me 200 reputation. That's like, just cut it off. Stop it. A frightful peasant strolls all too close before a guard steps between us. Ooh, he backs off with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. Your lordness, I've come in I've come here from oh, uh, with a matter of great uh, of great import. Eyebrows undulate. You see, King, our night watchman has been carrying off with Cobbler's wife carrying on with Cobbler's wife, sister's cousin, and all villages in uproar. And this since seven moons back. Or it eight, he strokes his chin. Yeah. You're a fool now. You're my fool. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow uh, them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain, talking among themselves about recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings has dropped away entirely, with the hum and bustle of normal court life making its place. My business is done. Now, we are paused, because it's time to look at decisions. Oh, I'm already at an activity. There we are. The cat! As the cat rests in my lap, contentedly purring, I ponder what I should name her. Something historical. Something alluding to her grey fur. Something to describe the soothing feeling I feel. An urge for a future destiny, perhaps. Oh, it feels rather like a dog. Now. We've done a hunt. Let's hold a feast. 
send the invitation. And that takes us down to the bottom level of stress. No longer overwhelmed by stress. Pleased to cheery gathering. The guests are gathered in the great hall. Lords and ladies from near and far re uh, reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and high spirits begin. Welcome, friends. Disaster strikes. Oh, no. My lords, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It has gone bad. It has all gone bad. The feast is still raging, but without drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cool pace. That would not be good. We all have to pitch income now. And unfortunately, that's increased the stress. Tastefully insulting. As plate after plate of food is brought into the Great Hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me and I smile. That my poised Chancellor, Chief Iza, Iva, is sensitive to coriander, and something I suddenly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome and I pray you will find the food to your liking. His face, as I save him from the food, is definitely to my liking. What starts as an ordinary feast becomes an exceptional one, thanks to the presence of Queen Oliver. I need to look up how to pronounce this. Um, we spoke all evening about all manner of subjects, and as things would have fit, we seem to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with her. What a good evening. As my guest departs, with everyone headed for their respective homes, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife already had to thank for his, uh, its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude. Until next time, I gain reputation. Okay, fine. Unfortunately, it didn't help me with stress that much. Never mind. Now, I owe you a favour, but I'd rather not. I mean, who wants to owe someone a favour? What if we just forget about this? No, Eva, I don't think so. Oh, you have uh, war, war, peace. I'd like Vasta Gotland. How many? Oh, I have a lot of troops, but you have an ally. What war are you in there? Smaland as well would be a possibility. Visby and Vastagotland. Hmm. Oh, that's Jamtaland. Oh. Oh, that's Ragnar who can vassalize. Why not? And so increasing that. You want to be a vassal too? He would also accept. And I apologise for the real TikTok rather than Kid Cat. The, the hardest part of ruling. By the very nature, the uh, ting meets can be extremely boring. If Templars don't flare, if Templars don't flare, with, uh, and no one gets dramatic, then it's just a long list of low-ranking freemen discussing petty affairs and standing out in the rain. Yet as king, I am required to be here. I'm all every second. I must stay awake. Gained 150, and my stress is down. No longer overwhelmed by stress. And a new perk. Confidant. We've got powerful vassals expecting pin, uh, expecting court positions. We'll have to think about that. Oh, this cat has to go. My wife Queen uh, is holding TikTok 
but by the skin of her neck. Eyes red and rose running. I cannot stand this anymore. I barely breathe when she's around. Who are we uh, once we want? Ragnar's the one who doesn't think he'll like me yet, isn't it? Oh, oh. Red and Ragnar, neither of which are the ones. Um, give me to Solvi. I can create the Duchy of Nordland. Why not? And Ulfur now needs a a new um hmm. My air. Uh, <coughs> you could be with me, my child. In fact, I think you will be. What it said, he becomes my wizard for a minute. Familiar your reputation. He gains 20 opinion of you. Good. Too many duchies held. Well, my child, maybe it's time that you held a, uh, a Yeldum of Norland. Why not? You can't. You can't. Indeed. <laughs> well then. Let us see. So, why don't I grant you this title? Now hold that title, good. If never... I'll go to his battle. Right. And now I've got an empty council position. Needing... Learning. He's a vassal. There you go. Very good. Very good, very good indeed. I'm quite satisfied with that. I can uh, vassalize Sperka, which I assume is that one. Yes. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my daughter, Van Hilda, what she thought. This bond the sense is far too harsh for such a small crime. The punishment did indeed not fit the crime. I like that she's just... just like her daddy. Uh, accept your gracious offer of vassalization. Excellent. And so Sweden continues growing. You are not particularly fond of me, so let me sway you. TikTok life without you. I visit my spy master Yarl Solvi to see how little TikTok is doing in his car. He meets me outside his castle, grey cats in his arms. She's doing well! She likes to try grooming the her hens. I'm relieved. Good. Less stress. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm working on you, and Sven really likes me, so I'm not worried about him. First time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. 
John Boulder, he's challenging me. Comment on his amorous lips. Lost 15 opinion of me. That's rather unfortunate. He already didn't like me. Am I at war? No. The money's. But it's within the realm. I really don't care that much. Smaland. Lingering resentment. Over has been harboring a secret affection for Astrid for some time. However, when you find the confidence is feeling, Astrid uh, responds harshly. Now he mutters whenever she passes by. Perhaps Lofty. Uh, Chase, no. One. Yeah, likewise. Revengefulness sometimes can be useful. If not, he'll outgrow it, I'm sure. Well, I think it's time we called an end to the growth of Sweden for today. We have, in fact, grown. We are doing well. Uh, it would be good to bring Vastagotland under our sway, given that that uh, given that the um, main bulk of Sweden is cut off from an island. And we may look into doing that next time. In the meantime, drop us a like, a comment and a subscribe. And be a good vassal or ally or so into the state. Not an enemy of the state, you know who you are. I've been King Yorkie II. This has been the House of Yorkie ruling Sweden. Crusader King 3. Very well.